Avoid the lottery of FIFA points. Head over to u7bike.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a 5% off. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome to another video. If you've seen a few of these uh, the last few days from me, this is basically what I'll be doing between now and the start of FIFA 20 content with the demo, which shouldn't be too far away. EA should start announcing the official rating soon as well. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go through from 20th with Jolington all the way up to 1st in the most expensive transfers of this summer window. Now, I'm recording this 6 p.m., on the 2nd of September so if there's something that's gone on beyond this or something that happened earlier in the day that I've missed that is obviously more expensive than one of these then I do apologize. Jolington has been uh, featured before in the last few days in either a squad builder or, or something so won't dwell too much on him. Moving on though to Tielemans. Uh, Tielemans is 19th on the list and uh, cost Leicester 40.5 million which is a lot of money to spend. And I know the images, by the way, they're not going to, uh, they're obviously not going to be like that in game. But um, I couldn't find an image of Tielemans wearing the Leicester kit that looked less weird than this, believe it or not. But uh, he started well in the Premier League, actually, linking up with Jamie Vardy. I think he played last year anyway, didn't he? But uh, he's linked up Jamie w with Jamie Vardy this season and done quite well. I know a lot of you are going to be like, hang on a minute. Kovacic already played for, for Chelsea. What are you talking about? Well, it was finalised this summer window, despite the fact that Chelsea are, of course, banned from uh, from making transfers. But this was uh, already set up in principle, so there was there was no real re real way to stop it, and it was always going to happen. Uh, equal to the Tielemans deal, 40.5 million. I'm going to keep him at 83 rated. I'm not going to dwell too much on it either. We're going to move to the new boy of Real Madrid, Rodrigo. Not an awful lot is known about Rodrigo unless you study the Brazilian league, which I don't. Uh, so, yeah, it is what it is. However, he signed for Real Madrid this summer again for 40.5 million. So, a lot of money spent there. Uh, for a player that is, I mean, relatively unknown. I'm guessing they've got scouts who have studied this kid for a few years from, you know, academy level all the way up to playing for whatever side that he came from. I don't even know what he was. it Santos or something of that nature? Uh, either way, let's move on to another Real Madrid player, of course, Mendy. I'm not sure how much football Furlan Mendy will get this season. Uh, we're going up a little bit in transfer fees here, 43.2 million obviously, from uh, the French League. I really liked him last season. I think he did very well. Moving to Real Madrid is always a bit of a questionable one. I think he may obviously look to be taken over from Marcelo in the few next few seasons or even the next season. I don't know how much um, more playing time Marcelo has left in him. Another Real Madrid player. I didn't realise he did three in a row. Edo Militao on, on the list next. Uh, well, I say I didn't realise he did three in a row. It's not up to me, of course. He's 15th on the list. 45 million from Porto. A lot of money to spend on a player that once again hasn't really done anything this season. I don't even know if he's played a minute of football. I know he's been on the bench, but I don't think he's actually managed to get on, which is an interesting one. But an 80 rated card in FIFA 20, I think it's probably about right. Um, wouldn't want to stretch it too much. Juan Bissaka up next, 14th on the list. Uh, 49.5 million which is a hefty price tag for a fallback, but Manchester United have paid it. And uh, he's done all right so far. I can't no real complaints from me anyway. And I think in FIFA 20, he'll be the go-to right back. I think he'll be him and Trent will be the two right backs that you look to pick up before you pick up anybody. Well, let's say before you pick up anybody else. Maybe the ones that you build up towards. You know that um, Antonio Valencia is gone. He was the one that everyone went for because he was the quote-unquote overpowered one. Maybe Juan Bissaka will replace him because he's got the strength. And Dombele is on the list next, 13th, uh, with a fee of 54 million to Spurs, again from the French League. He started reasonably well in the Premier League, hit an absolute screamer a couple of weeks ago. Not sure if he's been included in the French squad. Uh, I'd have to look at that. I know uh, again doozy has been called up because Pogba's been ruled out, which is a very interesting stuff. Of course, he's been playing regularly for Arsenal this season. But either way, uh, Undombele, 83 rated. I think that's probably about right, isn't it? Let me know down below. Moving on to Jovic, uh, formerly of Frankfurt, of course. Uh, 12th on the list, 54 million, much like Undombele uh, to Real Madrid. Uh, I think um, his teammate, or former teammate, I should say, Rebic uh, of Frankfurt, he's moving as well. So uh, they, they're going to be left with, with like, no one. Uh, I think they bought uh, Bas Dos, didn't they? And they've got Juveljic as well, who's a very nice, promising youngster. Uh, but apart from that, yeah... 
Not an awful lot going on there. Um, next up on the list, we have Romelu Lukaku now of Inter. And he, I think he's scored in every game so far this season. Of course, of course rather, he put a penalty away um, over the weekend. 58.5 million. It's a lot of money to spend on someone like Romelu Lukaku, who has been off the boil somewhat in the last couple of seasons, especially with the media and um, fans of Manchester United, etc. But he's already proved that he can do it in the, in the Italian league. So... Yeah, he's got my back in, and I think he'll probably keep his 87 rated. I'd be very surprised if he dropped below 86, that's for sure. Uh, moving on, but only very briefly, to João Cancelo, now of Manchester City, 10th uh, on the list, for 58.5 million. What an amount of money to spend for a backup right back, because Kyle Walker, I believe, has started every game this season, and it's nothing to do with resting uh, Cancelo or you know breaking him in gently. It's just that Kyle Walker is playing out of his skin right now. So, yeah, at the moment, a 58 million bench warmer. Moving on, but staying with Manchester City, we've got Rodri. I think I mentioned him before, ninth on the list, 63 million from Atletico. I've only bumped him up to an 84 from an 82, and he was a non-rear last year as well. Because, and yes, he played a lot of football, but it's difficult to judge uh, without just sitting there and going through the entire back catalogue of games, watching games and watching him play and see how he performs. So I'm just going off stats. I've upgraded him to an 80, 84 from an 82. Maybe they give him an 85. Anything more than that, I think, is just going off the value of the transfer. Frankie de Jong up next. Big transfer for him. Still only 22 years, years of age, of course. In fact, every single player on this list... Apart from the odd, you know, one or two, uh, 23, 24 and under. Um, Frankie de Jong moving for 67.5 million. Barcelona not had the best of starts to the season of they. I mean, Lionel Messi hasn't kicked the ball yet. Suarez went off injured in their first game. It's all been left to Griezmann and um, he obviously can't carry the whole team by himself. So, yeah, Frankie de Jong, hopefully he can step up and do well. 84 rated's about right, I think. Uh, Pepe of Arsenal. 72 million, that is a lot of money to spend uh, on Nicolas Pepe. I mean, I, I think he'll come good in the Premier League. I think he's had a bit of a ropey start because he's obviously adapting to the speed of the Premier League. It's much, much different to what he will ever have experienced before. And um, it, I think it's obvious to tell, really, the first couple of games, he's been a little bit blindsided by how quick the game is. He did Liverpool dirty, though, to be fair. Uh, managed to just turn Robertson inside out and then couldn't beat the goalkeeper. But um, just a, a signal of what's to come, I think. He'll be a very, very good player. But I didn't want to go overboard, 84 rated. Speaking of overboard, I think Bayern uh, went a little bit overboard with this one. Uh, 72 million for Lucas Hernandez. That is absolutely outrageous. I mean, that's a lot of money. Yes, he's only 23. But that is a lot of money to spend on a player that, in my opinion, is just completely unproven. Yeah, shows signs of being a good player, but he is. He's just unproven. 83 rated, a centre-back, whereas I think he was a left-back in FIFA 19. But um, on every website that I've looked at, they've got him down as a centre-back. And I'm pretty sure um, he's been brought on a couple of times as a centre-back. Juventus, or whatever they're called in FIFA 20, um, of course, signed De Ligt for 76.9 million and are yet to play him. Uh, I bought him on Football Index thinking, oh, you know, he's going to be the next big thing. He'll shoot up in price once people see how good he is and he didn't get on twice. So I've just got rid of him, binned him off. 85 rated, I think, in FIFA 20. Uh, very good player, very strong defender. I think him and Van Dijk are going to make some formidable partnerships. Uh, unlike Maguire, because of his pace in FIFA 20, I think it's going to let him down. But he is the fourth highest priced signing of the summer, 78.3 million. There is a massive jump to third place, by the way. But um, I think an 84 rated card here is justified. I wouldn't want to go overboard saying 85, 86, because I don't think he's anywhere near the level of Delict. So I didn't want to insult him or Delict by doing that. So I think 84 is probably about right. Maybe you can increase his pace slightly. Maybe bump his defending up to 85. But ultimately, I think that's in and around where he'll be. Now, uh, as I say, massive price jump here. 12 million gap between Maguire and Eden Hazard. Uh, 92 rated, I think, is probably about right. He sold for 90 million. He's the oldest or joint oldest player on the list with our next player, incidentally, um, at 28 years of age. But just an unbelievable price tag for Eden Hazard. I, mean, I, I would say because it's cheap. Kind of. Um, when you consider the maybe the price of some of the other players above him, 
there are two players above him. But like one of them in particular is just absolutely crazy. Um, first, before we get to him, we talk about Griezmann. I would actually quite like that picture on the Griezmann card. I think it looks good, but I don't think they'd do it. But um, he sold for $108 million, which is, again, a, an astronomical amount. It's $18 million more than Eden Hazard sold for. Again, he's 28 years of age. I, I, I don't know whether I would put Hazard beneath Antoine Griezmann in my estimation when, you know, going off market value. Uh, Antoine Griezmann is actually cheaper than Eden Hazard, who commands $135 million, But obviously, they didn't pay that, so they've got a bit of a bargain there. Most expensive player? Zhao Felix, and one of the lowest rated, if not the lowest rated player in the list. I think he's, uh, I think only Jolington is beneath him. He's linked with Eda Militao there on 80 rated, but he sold for 113 million. And I'm talking pounds, of course. If we're talking euros, then it goes up even more. Uh, but yeah, 113.4 million for Zhao Felix. Has he, I mean, he started repaying it with the, with a the goal. I think he's got an assist so far this season as well, but it's just such an an amazing amount of money he's only 19 as well surely he cannot be worth that much money at 19 years of age you you're just you're investing in that kid's future without really knowing how well he's going to perform like he could end up of like maybe what if he's hit his peak already can you imagine if Xiao Felix would just won't get any better than he is right now and the only way for him is down uh then that is such an, an amazing amount of money but I suppose these days, that's becoming the norm. You know, you're talking 70-odd million for just, you know, like Nicolas Pepe, 70 million for him. That's a lot of money. But, you know, five, six years ago, there's no way. He'd be, what, 30 million. So it's just inflation, I suppose. You have to just roll with it. But uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, of course, EA will probably start dropping the official rating soon. And uh, if I've got any wrong, then I do apologize. But uh, we'll continue with these type of videos for long as you enjoy them. So if you have enjoyed this, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.